Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. More important than any of the shopping holidays that happen right after Thanksgiving, I think the whole decorating for the holidays is really uh, more important. It, it gets people more in the holiday spirit. It provides something nice for everyone to look at. And, uh, you know, since I was raised Catholic, it's, it's really a Christmas thing for me, uh, design-wise and everything. So Santa and reindeer and, you know, the stars and angels and, and all of that other stuff. Uh, growing up, we, we always had a little manger set up somewhere uh, in the house. We had the Christmas tree full of ornaments. Uh, my sister and I would get new ornaments every year to hang on the tree. So we've got lots and lots of ornaments going way back to the 70s that uh, were specifically for us and the classic... Uh, late 60s through 70s glass ornaments, the few that are left uh, since we also had dogs and cats growing up. Uh, there were more than a few of those classic ornaments lost to uh, happy dogs and curious cats. Uh, I think we can, anyone with pets who's ever tried to put up a Christmas tree knows that low hanging ornaments uh, very often end up having to be cleaned up in shards. Uh, now, the animals would also do other things. The, the, I know the cat took the tree down at least once or twice. Uh, the dogs took the tree down at least once or twice. Uh, we usually had an artificial tree for a little while. We did live trees, and that led to the cat once thinking he was outside, uh, which led to a lot of cleanup. And uh, so we, we've stuck pretty much with, uh, with artificial trees. They, they store up in the attic during the rest of the year. They come down, uh, they get decorated, they uh, brighten up the house. Uh, and I know a lot of people uh, go all out with their fancy light shows. Uh, these days, you can see on YouTube all every year, uh, the couple of houses that do big music-coordinated light shows. And that, those are things that, growing up, we would have never thought of. Because the Christmas lights that, we, that, that I grew up with were the big bulbs that if one of them was burnt out, nothing else on the string worked, and there was no clear indicator of which one was burnt out. So it was like a big scavenger hunt every year uh, to figure out which bulb was bad so we could replace it and make the lights work. Thankfully, they came out with the smaller lights that didn't have that problem. Uh, and now we've got all sorts of fancy lights, ones that automatically change from one color to another, those cool LED ones. Uh, I hear my parents got a, uh, got a new star for the top of the tree this year that uh, lights up with LEDs. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, since I've moved down to DC on my own, I don't decorate at all for Christmas because I am never here for Christmas and I really don't have anyone over who's that into the holidays that it would be worth it for me to have all of that stuff around here. Um, so... I just keep my Halloween decorations up all year because I like my skulls and dark colors and other creepy things that give me an excuse to not dust at all. Uh, you can't pass regular dust off as snow. But I want to know what your favorite holiday decoration setup is. Uh, what kind of stories and memories do you have from trimming the tree or whatever else you would do for the holidays? Uh, let me know down in the comments. If you like the stuff I talk about here, uh, give me a thumbs up right below the video. If you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not, hit the subscription button so you can get notified when these come out. And if you know anyone else who would be interested in uh, what I say around here, share this or any of the other videos with them and let them uh, come in on uh, join the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.